Black players' achievements are a critical cornerstone in the history of professional football. But many of their contributions have gone unheralded or unrecognized. Their arduous journey has been a fight for recognition and respect, both on and off the field of play. We had to earn our respect on that field. We're showing them what size and speed and mental toughness and conditioning means. And then people start to say, huh, oh, these guys are all right. They start rooting for you. When I did get hurt, I would never tell anybody. There might be six blacks waiting to take your place. We were on an airplane, and I was reading a book, Message to the Black Man. And the owner said, well, I don't want you to read that book. I'm under contract to play football, but don't ever think you could tell me what to read. Blacks roomed together. They wouldn't put a white player in with a black player. The struggle of the black player to make his mark on the game has been a long, painful, and sometimes bitter journey. I've been receiving hate mail. A rope flushing you down the cabal, or they have your face in a watermelon. In those days, it was illegal to be interracially married, so it took us a while to make that decision, and uh, the decision definitely cost Henry his football career. My wife and I were sitting at one of the famous restaurants in Washington, and a guy walks by and spit on my foot. The next thing, I'm coming up out of my seat. And my friend grabs my arm and said, no, no, nothing happened, nothing happened. We're fighting for rights, not to integrate, not to be with somebody. I don't want to be with anybody that don't want to be with me. In the face of adversity, these pioneers persevered, changing the game to its core and leaving a legacy to be enjoyed by future generations of players and fans. I think of the people who broke down doors and broke down barriers so those players could be on the field today, the ones who took risks literally to their lives. There were others that came before us. They didn't plant the seed, but they broke the ground for us. Kenny did it all. He played quarterback, kicked extra points, field goals. Kenny was a superstar. Bill Nunn and the scouting department for the Pittsburgh Steelers drafted four people in the 1974 draft that are in the Hall of Fame. That's never been done by any other football team before or since. Willie Lanier was as good as any you want to find. He came to play every day. How are these guys playing this today? Half of them don't even know who's starting to bump and run. They don't even know who Willie Brown is. No self-respecting newsman is going to write Deacon Jones tackles quarterback, but he'll write Deacon Jones sack quarterback. I brought technique to the game. I left the game better than what I found it. Leave the game better than you found it.